ito yung final output natin input range input tayo ng 5 so number is 1 until our range so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then the sum is 15 so total ng 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 then ikakount nyo yung total add number which is 3 so 1 3 at saka 5 then the total even number is 2 which is ang ating 2 at saka 4 let's try again yun po tayo ng 4 so number is 1, 2, 3, 4 then 10 then 2 for the last one 3 so we have 2 add numbers 1 at saka 3 then 1 even number Hi guys! This is Dalamar Continuing or welcome to our video tutorial. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano yung solve ang ating problem from Java Looping Exercises. So we have our problem here. Write Java program to allow the user to input range. Then the program will show the loop number and calculate the sum of all numbers. So I've already created this program in my last video. You can check it down below. So example, we have our sample output. Input range 5, then number is 1, loop niya from 1 until our range, no, which is 5. Then, i-add niya lahat niyong loop numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, then the total is, the sum is 15. So, ang dinagdag lang is, it will also count the number of even and odd numbers. So, we have total odd number is 3. So, bakit 3? Kasi, 1 is add, then 3, then 5, so tatlo sila. Then total even number is 2, which is yung 2 at saka yung 4. So kung hindi nyo pa alam kung paano i-identify si add or si even number, is you can also check my video down below. So kung how to check if yung input natin is add or even number. So ang gagamitin natin ngayon is for loop, then followed by while at saka yung do while. So simulan natin yung coding. Open natin si Eclipse IDE. Then you create your project. Then you can create your package. So I've already created my project, then my package. Then click natin, then right click. Then let's create our new class. Then let's name our class. You can name it any name you want. So example, I will name it loop even add counter or any name you want no then let's check our public static void min then click finish okay so take note i will be using scanner class para accept yung input ni user so let's create our scanner object so scanner so is equal scanner then input input then is equal to new scanner System dot n semicolon. Then again, my error siya, may wiggly line kasi hindi pa natin na import si scanner class natin. So to do that, we can just hover si scanner, then click import scanner Java util, lalabas to. Or you can just type si import Java dot util dot scanner. Then let's declare our variables. So int then yung range para sa input range kama. Yung x para sa looping natin. Then, sum ng ating loop numbers. Initial value niya is 0. Kama, yung ating counter. Counter ng even. Initialize natin to 0. Yung kama, counter, add. Is equal to 0. Yan. So, let's display our dialog. This is O, control space. Then, input range so gusto ko sa gilid lang ang natin ln then let's say range is equal to tawagan ng input that next int para i-accept niya yung next int natin yung integer input natin then let's use our for loop para malup na natin yung ating number so remember first we will use for then Next is while at saka yung do while sa huli. So, let's say 4. 
yung condition niya then starting curly brace enter okay so sa 4 we have first yung sa expression na is yung ating initial value so x is equal to 1 kasi mag start si number from number 1 until range so x is equal to 1 then condition natin x is less than equal to range so from 1 until our range semicolon then our increment para from 1 2 3 4 5 every time na mag loop siya mag add siya ng 1 so kung gusto mong mag add siya ng 2 is equals to plus is equal to 2 pero sa atin ngayon gagamitin natin is mag add siya ng 1 so x plus plus increment natin so sys o then loop natin si number is concatenate natin tawagin natin si x Let's save it, then let's run. Input tayo ng 5. So, number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ang kulang lang natin is yung total. So, to do that, let's call ang ating sum plus equals to x semicolon. Or, you can just say sum equal to sum plus x semicolon. So, again, ang ginagawa nito is i-add niya yung value. Ang value ng x is i-add every time na mag-loop kay sum. So, every time na mag-loop, magdadagdag yung value ni sum. Kasi, dinadagdagan ng value ni x. So, you can use yung kanina, which is the shorter version ng ating ito. Alright. So, let's call. Sa labas natin, tawagin. Kasi, kapag tinawag din sa loob, bawag. Ilulup din yung ating the sum of all numbers. No? So, let's see. So, the sum is, then, kung katin natin si sum, save natin. Okay, 5. 5. The sum is 15, which is correct. Now, let's do yung counting. So, paano makount natin yung even at saka add? So, to do that, we will use yung if Again, you can check my video on how to identify kung even or add yung ating input number. So, it's in the link. No? Okay. So, if, then, calibrate natin. If else yung gamit natin. So, dito sa if natin, if even siya. If even, otherwise, add siya. No? So, gagawin natin. So, x is gamitan modulus operator then operator then 2. So, x percent 2 is equal to 0. Kung, ang ginagawa nito is kinukuha natin yung remainder. Then, kung ang remainder niya is equal to 0, so, ibig sabihin, even siya. Kung hindi, add siya. So, let's try to Yung iba kasi ginagawa nila ito. Sis o din. Let's say x plus is even. Then, ito is add. Save natin. Let's try to run. Okay, input tayo 5. So, every time na nilop yung number, so, lalabas si 1 is add, then 2 is even, etc. So, ang gusto lang natin is i-count yung total even number is or total add number is, no? So, comment natin to. Ang gagamitin natin is, if you remember, itong sa increment natin na every time na mag-loop siya, magdadadag siya ng 1. So, let's call our counter even plus plus semicolon. Yan lang kadali kung paano bilangin yung even natin. Every time even siya, magdadagdag siya ng 1. So, let's comment this with add 1 every every time it is even no every time na even siya magdadagdag siya ng 1 so kung sa add naman so sales tayo comment natin to so instead na counter even so counter remember yung ating variable dito sa taas so ito so initialize natin sila to 0 so counter add plus plus semicolon 
So, add one every time it is add. Alright, so ganyan lang ang kadali. Okay now, tapos na natin ipasok sa counter yung ating or kapag even siya, nilagay na sa counter at saka add kung add siya, dito sa counter add natin. So, ang gagawin lang natin is tawagin natin yung ating counter even counter add. So, hindi natin tatawagan dito sa loob, dito sa labas. Okay? Sys O, control space, then total, so, natin, add is, total add is, or balikan natin yung presentation, total add number is, total even number is. Okay? Okay, so, total add number is concatenate natin to counter add sys o space total even number is plus counter even okay save natin 5 so, total add number is 3, then total even number is 2, which is correct yung kanina natin, parehas, no? Let's try another na mga, sa so 4. So, dalawa lang yung ating even, ito, tsaka ito, tsaka yung add dalawa lang. So, let's try 1, oh, 1, no, 3. Okay, so 3, tatlo lang yung ating add, ito, ito. O, oh, tatlo. Dalawa. So, itong 1 at saka yung 3. Then, yung even natin is 1. So, again, this is how to count the number of even at saka add using yung for loop natin. Now, let's go to while. Okay. So, let's change the syntax to while. So, to do that, let's just... Okay. So, ang gagawin lang natin, let's say while yung ating sa condition then ito curly brace so ang sa while we have to declare our initial value cut natin to dito sa taas then yung ating condition cut natin to lagay natin dito then our increment dito siya sa baba okay now cut natin to hanggang sa dito Okay, so remember dito lang, cut natin, then paste natin, so i-delete natin to guys, hindi kailangan itong semicolon, paste natin sa taas ng x++, so paste natin, okay, para hindi kayo maguluhan, let's tab this, highlight natin to, tab natin para hindi kayo maguluhan. Okay. So, while ito, the number is lilop niya, then itong ating sasam, then even. So, delete na natin to for the, ito lang, tapos na. Okay, again, let's explain yung ating code. So, initial value natin is 1, mag-start yung ating number is 1, then yung ating condition na it Again, yung difference ng while at saka do while is yung sa while, ilulup na lang niya yung condition or ilulup lang yung statement as long as true yung ating condition. Kumpara sa do while na even sa yup yung ano, condition natin sa una, ilulup niya kahit isa, isang beses. No? So, we have while, then number is, then sa sum natin, then sa pag-count natin ng if even, then yung add. So, again, this is just comment. You can delete it. Then, yung sa atin, increment para sa every time na mag-loop, mag-add siya from 1, 2, 3, until yung ating range. Then, sa labas ng ating, ang partner nito is dito. So, sa labas is tawagin natin so the sum at saka the total number, then the total even. So, save natin. Let's try to run. Okay, ito po tayo ng 5. So, as you can see, parehas lang yung result sa kanina sa using for loop. So, ganito lang kadali kung paano ilipat yung at or i-change yung ating for to while. Now, we will change it na naman to 
the y. So, to do that, let's... Okay, so, uh, sa syntax ng do is do, curly brace natin, then while, yung condition natin, semicolon. Okay, first, parehas lang. Cut natin to si initial value natin, initialization, then, yung ating ito nga pala yung ating condition, cut na lang natin to So, cut natin, lagay natin dito. So, as you can see, yung sa while is may, walang semicolon kumpara kay do while. So, ito yung ating condition, ito yung ating initialization, condition. Now, yung laman ng ating do, cut natin dito hanggang sa x++. So, cut natin, paste natin dito. Alright, so delete na natin delete na natin na itong ating okay, let's try to delete why ito, ito yung delete natin oh, ito okay, delete natin okay, arrange natin para di ka maguluhan okay, si do again, we have our initial na initial value, initial value magsimula sa 1 Then, itong ating ilulup natin. So, tab natin. Then, as you can see, nasa huli rin yung ating increment. Ito. So, do, initial, do. So, gawin niya muna bago niya i-test yung condition. So, do. Then, ito yung ating ilulup. Then, increment. Then, yung ating condition a while then at the end after yung loop tatawagin niya yung the sum at saka yung add even so save natin then let's try to run so yun po tayo ng 5 so the sum is 1 until 5 the sum is 15 the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then the sum is 15 then total add number is 3 then total even number is 2 again increment oh increment initial value sorry, initial value natin then do ito yung gagawin natin then our increment then our condition then at the end, tatawagin na natin yung mga value nila so again, di nawawala yung first sa for at saka while at saka do while yung increment increment ito yung ating initial value again, initial value Then, yung ating condition at saka yung ating increment. So, makikita naman nyo, no? Na from R4, then while at saka do while. So, again, this is how simple on how to count the number of even, the number of odd numbers sa ating input range.